Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and kittens, welcome back to the podcast. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I'm having a great day, man. So, look, we got a news news piece as well as a speculative piece and thought we would have some fun with it. We we like to speculate here at the podcast. Not sure if you've noticed. Not on prices. We don't do that. YouTube is full of those. And can't see our voice giving uh, giving any greater weight to it. We like to speculate about products that are doing a thing, air quotes, a thing, but we like to dream of what else they can do. That is always where I see the bigger value, not precisely in what it's doing, but what else can it do? That's the hook. And today's video is about just such a hook, the Quentin Tarantino upcoming auction for Pulp Fiction NFTs. But let's start at the very beginning, then we can get to where we want to go. What is an NFT? <laughs> I have to add this. An NFT is a digital asset that represents internet collectibles like art, music, and games with an authentic certificate created by blockchain technology that underlies cryptocurrency. Now, we all know that they are more, that they are much, much more. But this right there is the definition that most folks, even crypto folks, associate with when they think of an NFT, digitally stamped art. Pretty cool. And for what it's worth, NFTs might have stayed in that realm just forevermore. But this is this is the what else can I do part. But something happened that is going to radically change the game and the world of NFTs. The thing that happened is called the secret network. Allow me to continue. When an NFT is minted, regardless of where, you can get them done all over the place. It is digitally stamped and now becomes property updated on the ledger, and only one person can own it. It is unique. And that really is nifty. It is. It's pretty cool. But ownership of an NFT doesn't mean that you can put it away and nobody can ever see the image or listen to the song. It just means you have bragging rights and can say it belongs to you. You can also sell it, trade it, what have you. It's yours. It's your property. But it's not locked away anywhere. It's still on the ledger, the public ledger. So why is an NFT minted on secret different? Because on secret, the ledger is not public. It's private. And the only person who will ever see what is in that NFT is the person who owns that NFT and has the key. So let's get back to Quentin. He told me to call him Quentin. He didn't tell me anything. Pulp Fiction is its pretty much pop culture in the U.S. And you know what? Most, most of the world, 24-7, 365. On some channel or other, you can watch Pulp Fiction. Even the people who don't like the movie, secretly, secretly, they like the movie. It gave rebirth to John Travolta, whose career was pretty much on life support before that movie. And then along comes Vincent. Would you ever give a man a foot massage, Vincent? And boom, John Travolta is back, baby. And uh, yeah, then he did Battlefield Earth. <laughs> Yikes, I digress. Uh, it turns out that there is unseen footage of Pulp Fiction, original manuscripts with notes, changes, etc. If you buy one of these soon-to-be-auction NFTs of the original script, you can see it as it was written, not as it was shot. The truly unedited script. And here's the best part. Because it was minted on secret and the ledger is not public, you will be the only person on the planet to ever see that unedited script. You own it. It's yours. And you have the only key. Nobody else can do this. Nobody. Just secret network. And I'm sure it wasn't exactly random that Quentin Tarantino chose Secret to do this. It's been over 25 years since that movie came out. He could have shown that footage and those manuscripts to the world anytime he wanted to, but he didn't. So the world will never know what's in them, only the person who buys them. This is not 
just unique for the NFT space, the lock and key. This has massive potential for not just art and music, but for everything else an NFT can be if it was private. We wargamed this for 30 seconds on the live stream with uh, Eric. And you know what we came up with? Airline tickets. Seems like a no-brainer. How about medical records? How about financial records? How about personally identifiable information? How about credit scores? School transcripts? I can do this all day. The way this tech is going to change the market and change the way we are doing business cannot be oversold. If you haven't heard of Secret Network yet, just wait, because you will. They took blockchain, public blockchain, the way everybody just accepts that this is the way it is, and they made it private. None of the underlying fundamentals has changed, not a bit. They just made it cheaper in gas and closed to those who don't need to see it. The market just changed, and they changed it forever. If that doesn't intrigue you enough to at least do some diligence on your own, I'm not sure what else will. Uh, the podcast is very much behind Secret Network, and we are going to talk it into the ground because it is such a damn good and original project. And folks need to know about it. And uh, yeah, with that, we will call this one uh, good. And we're going to get it posted. My my non-amp or uh, Alchemy Pay videos, they don't get a lot of views. But each and every one is special to me because this project is special to me. It's blockchain the way it can be, not the way it is massive wicket for me. So that's it, guys. Until next time, please stay safe and please be smart with your money. That's it. Cheers. Cheers.